we have an LFO, modulating A-E-I-O-U, as you can see here. And this is a chain selector type vibe. So if I sort of scroll along a bit, look at that. LFO, moving the chain selector randomly, because it says random down there. That all makes sense. And each of those rows is a different layer, cross-faded together. As you can see, with each layer, whoop, open it up, boink, with each layer, whoop, 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 went the wrong way, that's what she said, ah, oh, press the wrong keyboard, with each layer, each layer, there you go, a different filter, a different vowel format filter, as you can see. Excellent. So it's moving randomly between these vowel filters. But how did I get them? Well, there's a bit of a trick. In fact, it's easy peasy if you have Ableton. Can't remember which version they introduced this. But if you go to EQ8 and Format, you can see them. So if I drag out Vocal A, you can see the Vocal A filter. Easy peasy. In fact, to make the whole thing, you do something like Vocal A, right click group, open it up, drag in the other ones, name them if you fancy it, just pretend I do this for all of them, then you open up the chain, and then you select them all, or some of them, drag them out, sort of vibes, something like that, and then you do right click, distribute ranges equally, and then something along the lines of that, and freestyle it, boink, freestyle it, Boop -a -doop -a -doop, cross fading between the various layers so you can mix between the various vowel sounds and keep doing this sort of thing until it sort of looks right. You get the idea. It's a, you basically create that cross fade shape, as you can see there. Let me just delete that. Then map the chain selector to macro one. Here it says a map because it's already mapped. If I wanted to map, 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 map it to macro 2, words are difficult. You click it. Excellent, but let's undo that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, why is there a thing inside of a thing? That's what she said. Now, the trick to this is subtlety. Mixing in just a touch of this vowel filter. In other words, we want a dry wet control. And that's what we see here. We have this main vowel rack. I've called it vowel rack 1. I saved it and gave it a name, that's all fine. But this is in a different rack, which I haven't named, but it's this guy here. So this guy is a dry, wet rack. Wet, dry. Wet layer, dry layer. Dry layer has no processing, and the wet layer, the vowel rack. So in the chain selector bit, you can see I've cross-faded the two together to create this dry, wet control. In this case, mapping macro one, or the chain selector to macro one, creating a dry wet control. On the far left, it's dry. Oh, in fact, yes, I did it the right round. On the far left, it's dry. And on the far right, it's just wet. And you can sort of mix between the two. So you can mix in, say, some of, of the vowel rack. So here you can see it's more dry than wet, but close to 50 50. It's uh, just looking at the cross fade in the, in the chain selector zone bit there, creating it just like the chain selector bit for the vowel rack. Just sort of drag things about and make it look logical. Cool stuff, multiplier, but do some noises. Okay, so let's do noises and things. When I turn it off, it's dry. So we're turning off the entire rack. That would be the original sound. And when I turn it on, it's processed. So sort of bear that in mind as I do some clicking. Remember, the magic to this is subtlety, giving it a human equality, oftentimes in a way you can't quite put your finger on. That's what I love about this. Here are some noises. The next one is more hippity hop vibes and styles. Loop. Brr. Again, original 
first. And Ariza from Mammoth Audio. In fact, I think this may even be free. Yeah, maybe go to the website, check it out. It's Ariza. It's my favorite set of Ariza's I've heard for a long time. It's They're excellent and great for this example. making it sound a touch more human. Human. It's it's nice. It's subtle, but nice. Let me show you also on some pink noise, which is neutral. So, neutral. Just a bunch of noise, but... With the vowel filter, it's got a bit of something. It's a touch of subtle human vibes. And remember, this is mixed in subtly. If I made it more extreme, so 100% wet, hearing just the vowel filtering. Sounds more, we can hear it more, obviously. Not exactly making it talk, but there's a humaniness to it. It's subtle again, but it's better to be more human than not human. Random in this case, but you could make it less random if you fancied it. Obviously. But again, as I say, generally, best to keep it subtle. Otherwise, it tends to hollow things out a bit too much, so. Let me show you 100% wet, just to show you how generally it tends to hollow things out a touch too much. It's a bit sort of like, wah! Ooh, floppy, floppy, flap, blah, 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 blah. That's what it sounds like to me. Just a bit too, bit too hollow, a bit too like an obvious effect at 100% wet. Much better, subtle, to so create a dry or wet rack, like I just showed you. Excellent. Marvellous. Marvellous indeed. Multiplier. Catch you on the flippity flip.